Let us understand the word Islam. Islam is basically derived from two root words, Salam and Silm. Salam means peace, Silm means surrenderance. As such, Islam would mean to surrender ourselves peacefully to Allah alone. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een A'uzu billahi minash shaitanu wajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani wa-Rahim Khul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakullahu kufwan ahad Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yassir li amri Wa halul ukhdatan min lisani Yafqahu khawli Respectable brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Meaning, may the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of my talk is concept of God in Islam. Let us understand the word Islam. Islam is basically derived from two root words, Salam and Silm. Salam means peace, Silm means surrenderance. As such, Islam would mean to surrender ourselves peacefully to Allah alone. Many people have a misconception that Prophet Muhammad has introduced Islam. But to clarify this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the glorious Quran in Surah Maida Surah number 5 ayat number 3 This day we have completed your religion for you So this ayat clearly testifies that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has not introduced Islam but rather than he taught the teachings of Islam Let us now understand the word Allah Allah is basically derived from two root words Al and Ila Al means the Ila means God as such Al plus Ila equals to Allah meaning the God Ila the Arabic root word of Allah has basically six unique meanings the first meaning is Al Malu meaning the only one worshipped by the creation with absolute love and satisfaction. Second, the only one capable to protect at all times. Third, the only one whose power amazes all the creation. Fourth, the only one towards whom all the creation rushes with love and satisfaction fifth the only one the only one towards whom all the creation rushes to Allah sixth the only one beyond the comprehension of any vision but his vision perfectly comprehends all the concept of belief in Allah is known as Tawheed. Tawheed means to bear witness that there is no God except Allah. Tawheed can be classified into three categories. The first category of Tawheed is Tawheed al rububiya The second category of Tawheed is Tawheed al-Asma was sifat The third category of Tawheed is Tawheed al-Ibadah. So let us understand the first category of Tawheed that is Tawheed ar rububiya Rububiya is derived from the word Rab. Rab means cherisher and sustainer. As such, Tawheed ar rububiya means to believe, proclaim and to propagate that Allah alone is the only one God 
and to believe that the originator and the cherisher and the sustainer of all the creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testifies this in the glorious Quran in Surah Fatiha Surah number 1 ayat number 1 Surah An'am Surah number 6 ayat number 14 and 164 Surah Fatir Surah number 35 ayat number 1 and in Surah Zariyat Surah number 51 ayat number 57 and 58 let us now understand the second category of Tawheed that is Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat Asma means names and Sifat means attributes as such Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat means to believe proclaim and to propagate that Allah alone is the only one God and Allah has the most beautiful names and the most beautiful attributes that belongs to Allah alone according to Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat we shall not take any name by which Allah did not mention in the Quran and we should not take the name by which Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has not mentioned in authentic hadith let us now understand the third category of Tawheed that is Tawheed al Ibada. Ibada means worship as such Tawheed al Ibada means to believe proclaim and to propagate that Allah alone is the only one God that is besides Allah none shall be worshipped and acts of worship and respect for Allah shall be for Allah alone as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Anbiya Surah number 21 Ayat number 25 the purpose of sending all the messengers is to establish Tawheed al Ibadah I would like to conclude my talk with which I have started my talk from Surah Ikhlas Surah number 112 Ayat number 1 to 4 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم خل هو الله أحد say he is Allah the only one الله السمد he is independent لم يلد ولم يولد he has no children and no parents ولم يكن له كفوا أحد and there is none like unto him وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين